friends. So here I'm sitting with my fr friend Per. We are actually invited to a, a Muslim seminar or conference. Um, I'm uh, living in an area where it's a lot of Muslims. I meet them regularly and, and uh, actually was invited. They know about us. So it's going to be exciting to see what God will do here today. We are here to listen, but also to share, of course, and stand up for our faith. We will not bow knees to any other God than <laughs> Jave, Jesus Christ, right? To be continued. So, a quick recap what really happened on that uh, Islamic seminar I was invited to. Uh, to to start a little bit from the beginning was uh, when I was meeting this guy I regularly speak with. Uh, he wanted me to come. And, and join this uh, Islamic seminar. I don't think they expected me to show up there. So I actually brought two of my brothers in Christ with me. And we came there and before uh, I decided to come, I told this man that invited me was that, you know, um, I will not bow, bow, thee, bow knee for Allah. And I will not, uh, you know, if you try to hurt me or kill me, you know, I go straight to heaven. So, so to be honest, I didn't know what to expect because we are very active here about, among Muslims and, and um, sometimes they get very upset about that. Uh, but uh, I think God really showed up and showed me a new picture also of, of the people that are following uh, Muhammad's teachings. Uh, but we came there and, and uh, when we came there, people looked very surprised because they were gathering outside. And and uh, so we just started to speak with them. We didn't say anything about our faith or nothing. But after a while, you know, they, they kind of asked us questions. And they asked us the question, are you Christians? And I said, yes, <laughs> I cannot deny it. And then it started, you know, they started to debate us and they separated us. And my friends were kind of attacked because somebody was really upset with them. And then the people I was speaking to were kind of trying to convince me that the, uh, Jesus is not God. And, you know, my experience is it doesn't lead anywhere to have these debates. But suddenly this man shows up and he recognized me. And he, he said, because the other people said, oh, we recognize you. And cause, but they couldn't really put me where, because I've been preaching a lot here in this area. Uh, but this man came, he was very upset. And he said, like, you know, you want to pray for me several years ago. And you touched me. I didn't allow you to touch me. And, and, and you know, but you did it anyway, which I have no memory of at all. I actually apologized to him afterwards also, if that was true. But anyways, he said, yeah, what you prayed for didn't go away because I told Allah, take, don't take it away. So God wins, he said, because God, Allah didn't take it away. So I said, all right. What should I say? But anyways, we started speaking, it became debates, but then they, have, uh, then they separated us again and they asked us, please, we don't have, want to have a fight here. Uh, when we come to the seminar, don't, don't do debates. And I think they kind of, you know, uh, didn't want to have want to have a fight, but we came in there, and, and then something has really happened. God really came, uh, and because um, I I could hear the message, and it was like really, you know, you know they uh, they are they're blind, they don't see the truth. You know, there's a lot of deeds what you need to do to please uh, Allah. Uh, fear fear built into uh, their faith that they, you know, then they don't really know if they're going to come to paradise or not. Anyways, I just felt like start speaking new tongues. So I sat, sat there very quietly and speaking new tongues, spoken new tongues. I really didn't know then why, but I know now that I was moved with compassion for these people, and because they need Jesus Christ, and somebody need to go there. And if somebody's blind, if they don't see the truth, uh, they're in a dark room. What can we do? We need the light. Put on the light. And who are the uh, light of the world? Jesus Christ, who is the light in the city at the top of the mountain. We are supposed to be that. We're going to be lights in the city to walk around there. Sometimes you don't even need to say anything. Just be a light among the people. Even though you're afraid, uh, maybe they're going to invite you to somewhere, to a home. These people, they have no bad intentions. I don't think so. Most of them. It's not like that. They they really believe in their religion. They really, uh, so they... Um, they just want to convince us that we are wrong. Uh, but, you know, when you move in love, 1 Corinthians 13, you move with love. And you just pour love on them. You can listen. They, they, can, they can mock you. They can say that you're wrong and give you the wrong, uh, that we are wrong in doctrine. We have the wrong Bibles. Just listen. Love them. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Ask questions. That's a good advice. This is what I do usually. I just ask questions. It's no... Even though I know exactly what to say, how to defend scripture, 
sometimes you better listen smile be loving caring uh, because they are looking and they need to see the light so after the seminar was uh, i think we made some friends there also and this is exactly what we try to do we i have friends that are muslims and they're not believe followers of jesus christ but we are still friends to build bridges you know how can we how can we walk over the river and meet there if you have you don't have bridges so build build friendships with them and you know start to meet them maybe eat together coffee and Eventually, they will discover the freedom we have. We don't need to do this and that, pray certain prayers to please God. Or in the moment you die, for example, this Imam was speaking about, if you say a certain word, uh, that's very easy to say, that in the moment you die, you're going to go directly to paradise. <laughs> What's that? God sees the heart, not the mouth. You know, it's just, no, it's about what your heart is. And it's about we, uh, the price to be paid with some, from, uh, by somebody, that's Jesus Christ. So it was no, no, not a lot of action, but just an amazing opportunity to, to reach people and, and to make new friends. Amen. I encourage you guys just to go out there, pour love on people, pour love on the Muslims, the Buddhists, the Hindus, the blinded Christians, and just, you know, show them Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Um, if someone asks you, this is a good one. If someone asks you, do you know the Ten Commandments? Yes, Jesus, 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 Jesus fulfilled the law to be continued.